So today I'm going to make a gluten-free cheesecake. It's a no-bake cheesecake, lemon flavoured and very easy to make and very delicious to eat. So I have a springform pan which I'm going to put a little bit of spray all just around the outside. Pop some baking paper around that. Just for safety, don't have to. And I'm also going to pop a eight inch cake board in the bottom, which is going to make it easier to take out afterwards and decorate. So that's just going in there. So we're having a biscuit base and I've got 155 grams approximately of Anzac biscuits, which are gluten free. And we're going to pop some butter into that. So you can melt your butter first, but I'm just going to be lazy and put the whole lot in the microwave. Just be careful if your biscuits are very dry biscuits, you might need a little bit more butter so that your bottom sets. So that will go in the microwave for probably about a minute till our butter's melted. There we go. Now I actually put that back for another 30 seconds because our butter wasn't quite melted. So we're going to pop that in there, press it down and pop it into the fridge while we make our actual cheesecake. So our base is in the fridge and we're going to whip a cup of cream in this little bowl and then we will be doing the cream cheese and the sugar in a, um, the big mixer which makes it a lot easier. We'll be adding the cream to it with our gelatine and lemon juice. So we'll, first of all we'll whip the cream and we've got a cup of cream. And it doesn't have to be really, really stiff peaks, just whipped. So you get a little bit of aeration in your cheesecake. Put that there and give this a whip. So just soft peaks basically, not, not too thick. I like to use some fresh lemons. They seem to have more flavor than the bought lemon juice. Try not to get any pips in there. Oh, you need to use your muscles for this. Of course, you could get out your juicer and all that sort of thing, but for half a cup of lemon juice, I don't think it's worth it. I'm not gonna worry about the pips at this stage. I'll strain it in a minute. Okay, I think that will do. I'm just going to grab a strainer and strain that through so it gets rid of our pips. Our lemon juice and a quarter of a cup of water. And we're going to pop our gelatine into that. Just give it a stir. We'll just leave that to dissolve. And I will strain it again before I pop it into the mixture because you don't want lumps of undissolved gelatine, which would be horrible. So pop that to one side. So we're going to pop our 500 grams of cream cheese into our mixer and into that the sugar and give that a beat till it's all nicely combined. So your cream cheese nice, needs to be nice and soft. If you've forgotten to take it out of the fridge, just pop it into a bowl and zap it for a couple of seconds. It'll be good. So we'll pop that down and give it a beat. That's looking good, we'll turn that noisy machine off. I'm just going to pop our gelatine and water and lemon juice in the microwave to get that all nicely dissolved, but I am going to strain it before I pop it back into our cream cheese mixture. And be careful that you don't zap it for too long because it will bubble over. We'll try about 20 seconds, I think. Pop this through the strainer. I'm just going to get all the cream cheese that's around the edge. And we want this to not have any lumps in it, of course, so we need that cream cheese to be well mixed through. Just pop that back on for a second or two before we add our cream to it. 
So we'll take that out and we'll just fold through the cream. So we'll just pop that into there and fold through the cream. And before I put it into our tin, I'm going to just taste it and make sure it doesn't need any more sugar. So we'll just fold that through. Don't want to lose the air that you've put into your cream. So that's quite a simple cheesecake to make. You could use different flavours if you wanted to. Just use the basic recipe. Pop some, maybe some mango juice, apricot nectar instead of the lemon and you're on the road. I'm just going to give that a little taste to make sure it tastes okay. So it's too late after. Yum. <laughs> so we'll have to get our base out of the fridge and we can pop that on top of it and pop it back into the fridge to set for ideally a couple of hours. Okay, our base is hardened up. So we're going to pop our filling on top. So that goes into our springform tin. I'm just going to spread it out so it's right out to the edge. And we're going to pop that in the fridge for about two hours or just until it's set. Doesn't take a terrible long time. So there we go, we can now pop that in the fridge. So we've had our cheesecake in the fridge for a couple of hours. We're going to undo it and hope it all stays in one piece. This is where you keep your fingers crossed. Just going to peel off the baking paper and slide that onto our serving dish. Remember, we have the board underneath, which makes this really easy to do. So I've whipped some cream to stiff peaks. We're going to pipe some rosettes around and pop some pieces of lemon into that, which will make it look pretty spectacular, I hope. We'll just spread this out. And I usually have a nifty little metal gadget like this, but I can't find it, so I'm going to use this instead. Now on a different tray, I could probably just spin it around, but we have what we have today, so it doesn't matter. A little sprinkle of nutmeg over that, just for effect, really. So I have a piping bag that's fitted with a small star nozzle. Pop the rest of the cream into that. Hope we've judged the cream pretty well. So we'll just pipe some cream around the outside of that. Enough for a swirl in the middle, why not? So I've just cut some slices of lemon, fairly thin, and put a little slit in them so we can just pop them around the outside. A bit of a twist, that one didn't work. Just pop those around. If you don't want to put lemon slices, you could put strawberries, chocolate, whatever you like. I just think if it's lemon, people come to eat it, they know it's a lemon cheesecake. So that's a very quick and easy lemon cheesecake that you don't have to bake doesn't take very long to make and is really very nice. Hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm.